Hi, this instructional video is about reflection. Reflection. You know, imagine if you drew, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, uh, a hand. Here's a hand. Here's a hand that says three. <laughs> and if you were to look at this hand through a mirror, Let's say you are holding a mirror in an angle. Okay? You are looking, uh, you're looking straight down with this hand on the side. What would it look like on this side? Well, this image is being transferred or being reflected this way. So what you're gonna actually see is a thumb on this side, the two finger, the index and the middle finger, and the ring finger, and the pinky finger this way. You see that? It's a mirror image. That's a reflection. And in this case, this is being reflected over the Y axis. Likewise, can you imagine if you had the same hand holding two fingers up like this, and then you put the mirror this way this time. So what would it look like on this side when you reflect it, when you look straight down? In fact, what you're gonna see is, see if I can do this one, check it out. Oh, is this crazy or what? I need more space, but look at that. You're gonna see the up upside down version of that image. Because in this case, the image is being reflected over the x-axis. You got it? Over the x. It's being flipped around. Flipped over, that is. And over the y, it's going to be to the left or the right, either way. That's a reflection. So, keeping that in mind, it says over here, Graph these plot, plot these points and graph it and reflect it in the y axis and the x axis, both ways. So let me demonstrate number one so you could try number two on your own. So, what we need is a coordinate plane. And we're going to plot these four points. Since there's four points, we're going to have four different vertices. It's going to be a quadrilateral. So the first point A is at 3 and 1, X and Y. So on the X, 1, 2, 3, and the Y is 1. There's a four first coordinate. B is at 4 and 2. C is 1 and 5, 3, 4, 5. And D is 5. And six, there it is. Something like that. See? There it is. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. And the D is 5.6, C is 1.5, I mean 1 and 5, B is 4 and 2 coordinate, and the 1 is of course 3 and 1. Now we're going to reflect that in the x-axis. We're going to take that image and reflect it that way. So what would that look like? It's just like this image right there. Here's the hand, and if you reflect it this way and looked at the mirror on this side, what would that look like? Imagine there was a mirror over here. What would that look like? Well, here's what it's going to look. This 3 and 1 coordinate it's going to be instead on this side, negative 3, but the 1, y, does not change. Let's call this a prime to show the new location. So this is going to be negative 3 and 1. The b, the 4 will be on this side, so it will be negative 4, but 2 does not change. So negative 4 and 2. Let's call that b prime. That's going to be negative 4 and 2. The C, instead of being on the 1, it's going to be on negative 1 and 5. Call that C prime to show the new location. And D is going to be 5, 
But it's on this side, it's going to be negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the y6 does not change. So it's going to be over here. So what do we have? We have the mirror image called a d prime. And the c is negative 1 and 5. And the d is negative 5 and 6. See? Mirror image. So what's happening? When you reflect it in the y-axis, from this way to that way, the x values change. They become opposite. However, the y does not change. So here's the trick. If you reflect it over the y-axis, y does not change. x changes. Okay then, the second part of this direction was to reflect it in the x-axis, over the x-axis. Go that way this time. So let's take the original A, B, C, D coordinates and this time reflect it over the x-axis. Remember the picture? It looks like this. Whatever was over here, if you go over the x-axis, it's going to become their mirror image or in this case flipped this way so it becomes upside down. Yeah, so let's keep that in mind. So let's take this first point A, which was 3.1. So it was 3.1, and it's still 3, but instead of being positive 1, it's going to be negative 1 on this side. Let's call that A double prime now to show the new location of this point over the x-axis. Take that B. It was 4 and positive 2. Now it's going to be 4 and negative 2. Do you see what's going on now? Call that B double prime. The C was 1 and 5. 1 and positive 5. Now it's going to be 1 and negative 5. 3, 4, 5. There it is. And finally the D, or call that uh, C double prime. And D is going to, was, it was 4, I mean it was 5 and positive 6. It was 5 and positive 6. Now it's going to be 5 and negative 6. Way down here. So draw that. Connect all the vertices together. What do we get? We have a mirror image, but this time over the x-axis. Call that D double prime. So the new coordinate for the D in this case is going to be 5 and negative 6. The B double prime, instead of 4 and positive 2, it's going to be 4 and negative 2. For the C double prime, instead of being 1 and positive 5, it's going to be 1 and negative 5. And A double prime, is instead of being 3 and 1, it's going to be 3 and negative 1. Right there. So when you reflect it over the X, X does not change, Y values change. Why don't you try the same thing now with number 2. Graph it and reflect it both over the y-axis and then the x-axis. Okay then, how did that go? Yeah, this time we have three vertices. So obviously this will be a triangle. And then given that they're, they all have different x values, it looks like it's going to be a scalene of some type. Or at least that's what it looks like. All right, so let's plot those points. Here's the grid coordinate, or the coordinate plane, I mean. The first coordinate is negative 4 and negative 2. So on the x is negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And negative 2. 1, 2. So there's the first coordinate. Let's call that A. The second point is negative 1 and negative 7. Negative 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The x is negative 1 and y is negative 7. So there's point B. And the C is negative 2, 1, 2, and negative 1. So there's a C. And you connect all of the points together and it becomes a triangle. Looks almost like an isosceles. <laughs> all right, so anyway, so there's the three images. I mean, there's the three points. So anyway, so here we go. Now we're going to reflect that over the y-axis. The y-axis. So here's the y. So we're going to reflect it 
that way. We're going to put a mirror on this side and go, hey, what does that look like on this side? Uh. <laughs> so to do that, we're going to take whatever this is. Remember? Uh, oh, wait a minute. What is this? C. Here, the A, it was negative 4 and negative 2. Negative 4, negative 2. So we have to go to that side. So it's going to be positive 4, but still negative 2. And let's call that A prime. It's a new location of that A right there. Now let's take the B, which is negative 1 and negative 7. Negative 1, negative 7. So we want positive 1, negative 7. Way down there. Call that B prime. Then finally the C, it was negative 2 and negative 1. So it's going to be positive 2, negative 1. Let's call that C prime. So connect those three points, and we have an exact mirror image. Well, <laughs> not quite, but something that looks like this. Okay? So once again, when you reflect it over the Y, Y does not change, but the X changes. So we could even say that the new coordinate reflection over the Y is going to be positive 4, negative 2. A prime, the B prime is going to be positive 1, negative 7. And C prime is going to be the opposite of negative 2, which is 2 and negative 1. You see how that works? Yeah. So let's take that original A, B, and C coordinate, and this time, like it says, let's reflect it over the x axis, over this line over here. We're going to go from here, and we're going to go that way. So A, it was negative 4 and negative 2. Now it's going to be negative 4 and positive 2. Now are you starting to see how this works? That's going to be A double prime, let's call it. And the B is going, it was negative 1 and negative 7. Well, it's going to be negative 1 and positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right there. And let's call that C. I mean, B double prime. And finally, the C, it was negative 2 and negative 1. It's going to be negative 2 and positive 1. C double prime right there. Plot those three points, and we have exact opposite mirror image this way. So the coordinate A double prime, we could say, instead of saying negative 4 and negative 2, now it's going to be negative 4 and positive 2. The B is going to be a B double prime. It's going to be negative 1 and positive 7 because when you reflect it over the Y axis, Y does not change. Oh, I'm sorry. When you reflect it over the X axis, X does, X does not change. Y does. So the C double prime now is going to be negative 2 and positive 1. There you have it.